200,000 years of human life. Fire, flight, language, music, wheel, architecture, vaccine, electricity. One, five, ten, fifteen, twenty years from now, another brown person stares at a white screen glare types the word race. Five billion years until the sun dies. Vivek Shreya's brand new book, Even This Page is White, is her first foray into poetry, and she achieved something great with it. I find it's difficult to review poetry, but not to talk about it, and there is a lot to talk about here. Vivek Shreya is no stranger to this channel. I reviewed her novel, She of the Mountains, and she's appeared in a video or two of mine in the past. Vivek is a writer, a musician, a filmmaker, an artist in every sense of the word, and a dear friend of mine. She sent me an advance reading copy of Even This Page is White a couple months ago, and it's now available in stores and online. You're going to want to run and pick up this beautiful and important book, published by Arsenal Pulp Press. Let's start at the beginning, or at the back of the jacket, with a blurb by Canadian Parliamentary Poet Laureate George Eliot Clark. Even this page is white demands that all of us account for our visions of color and or race, frontally and peripherally, with ocular proofs. Shreya is the poet optometrist, correcting our vision and letting us see our identities without rose-colored glasses, but with naked optics. Her book isn't even-handed, but dexterous and sinister, in demonstrating in revelatory poem after revelatory poem why often brown feels like a butt, and why even a good white person, with a golden heart, can be racist. Reader, you have work to do. This collection does demand that the reader do work, especially a reader like me. I'm a white reader, who presents as a man and who is afforded nearly every privilege that this world has to offer. It is my job to confront the ways that I've been taught to be racist. Not overtly, necessarily, but in the ways that any of us who benefit from white supremacy are taught to be racist. And it is my job to do the work to undo that. Even this page is white is a collection that notices whiteness, working to answer the question posed by the epigraph by Sarah Ahmed. If whiteness gains currency by being unnoticed, then what does it mean to notice whiteness? Some of Vivek's most fascinating poems, to me, are those that demand that a reader contemplate the words on the page. The poem A Lover's Bookshelf, for example, takes on the form of a list of the surnames of many well-known authors. The reader then must pore over it and see, represented there on the page, the way whiteness is centered in literature. I went through and circled the writers of color that I could find, which is an uncomfortable process as a white person to do, to pick out the writers of color. Did I miss any? Vivek returns to the list form in the found poem, 54,216 signed petition to ban Kanye West from playing Pan Am Games closing ceremony, where she copies comments made in response to the announcement that Kanye West would be invited to play the ceremony. This list is not broken up by line or by punctuation. Lines run into one another, such that the reader needs to pull them apart, has to really read them. Some comments show just how uncomfortable white people are with confronting racism. Quote, we'll turn the games into a racism issue, end quote. And other comments reveal the way that this argument is fueled so much by racism. Some remarks like, quote, None of the qualities we admire in the human race, end quote. Or, quote, total waste of human DNA. Or, quote, worse than Ebola and Hitler. Or, quote, disgrace to humans. And, and as you see when you read the poem, the list goes on. Hashtag not all white people. I don't know your story. This is true. You are a good person. Sterling intentions, golden heart, extra mile. Your parents labored, you grew up poor, picked on and kicked out, haunted by loss. Many truths can be true at once. 
You can be all the above, and you can be racist. A particularly interesting section of the collection is a conversation held between Vivek and Sarah Quinn, Amber Dawn, Ray Spoon, and Danielle Owens-Reed, which has a subtitle, because I still believe in the value of dialogue and because white people listen to white people. There's a great question posed by Vivek where she asks, this has been a year when I have been saying to white friends, it's not enough to not be racist, I need you to step up. What are examples of your allyship towards people of color? And Ray Spoon answers, the only way to support folks when you have more privilege is to give power away, which means space, money, resources, and time. Even this page is white not only tells me to confront my privilege, but to put it to use. Something important and refreshing about Even This Page is White is that Vivek does not use it just to draw attention to the racism performed by white people, but she herself is conscious of the ways that, even as someone at whom racism is directed, she contributes to and is part of the system of racism. She does not shy away from implicating herself in racist behavior or action, and instead she does what we all must do, which is admit it, own up to it, and go forward. There's a lot more to say about Even This Page is White, so let's have a conversation in the comments about it. This is a book that everyone should be reading, so let me know down below once you have. I'll leave the links to Vivek's social media below so you can learn more about her and her work. Thank you for watching, everyone, and please do let me know what you think of this book. I can't wait to hear about it. It's one of the, the most important books of the year for me, um, or even the last several years. So I cannot recommend it highly enough. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon.